All right. Are you ready to spend some time in God's Word? We're going to talk about leadership and more specifically the four C's of leadership. L- leadership is, is so important, not only in the church, but in, uh, in, in, in all spheres of life. Now, if you want to say, you know, what is leadership? Simply put, leadership is the ability to take yourself and at least one other person from where you are to where you, you should be. The Bible does talk about leadership being a grace gift. But not only is, does God empower us, but leadership is something all of us can develop through learning, training, and practice. So uh, great leaders and good leadership does not happen by accident. We, we grow in these things. So today, we're going to talk about the first framework, first piece of this framework, first aspect of framework, and that has to do with character. Great leaders and good leadership always demonstrates great character. Now, when we talk about character, what is character? Character is who you are, really are, as a person. Now, why is character so important? Because at least two reasons. Character establishes credibility. Character also earns reliability. That people look at you as somebody who is dependable. They can count on you. So, what are the ingredients? Seven ingredients, very quickly, on, about good character. Number one, and these are things familiar to us, but it's good to be reminded. Number one is integrity. You've got to be honest, ethical, truthful, face the facts, don't lie about the data, look at it. Are you listening? Man of integrity, a man or a woman of integrity. The number two is accountability, which is your self-governing ability. A, a, a leader with good character doesn't need somebody else to come and tell him what's right and wrong. He has the self-governing ability. Number three is commitment. And the third ingredient of, a, of, of good character is commitment. That means you're not fickle, you're not double-minded, you're not on and off, hot and cold, uh, but you are committed, you are sincere, you are steadfast, you're immovable, you're committed to whatever the cause that you're pursuing. Commitment is important. Number four, let me just move forward quickly. Courage. A leader is courageous, a very important part of your character. Number five, a fifth ingredient of good character is diligence, hardworking. Number six is humility. Proverbs 22 verse 4 says, Humility and the fear of the Lord are riches, honor, and life. Lastly, number seven, a seven important, important ingredient of good character is respect. You and I treat every person with respect. If these things are developing, you know, none of us are born with all this. These things have to be nurtured in us. And we grow in it. It's okay. We all are corrected. We watch our lives. And we let these things grow. And as these things are nurtured in us, you can be sure. Character is being formed in you. So, how do you develop such character? Very quickly. Four things and we close. Number one is discipline. Character doesn't happen by accident. And nobody can impart it to you. You can come and say, pray for me. I'll pray for you. But understand. You have to go and live your life. Character comes through discipline. Secondly, character, character comes through discipling. That means through somebody mentoring you, somebody coaching you, somebody having a positive influence on your life. So the big question is, who are you letting influence you? Thirdly, character is developed through determination. You going through stuff in life. There is no shortcut. You've got to go through those situations. You've got to journey through those, those circumstances. And that's how you nurture character. Lastly, character comes through your personal devotion to God. Out of that fear of God will that character be forged in you. Proverbs 23 verse 17 says, Do not let your heart envy sinners. Be zealous for the fear of the Lord all the day. Live in the fear of God all the time. One misstep, one wrong step. I'm not saying this always happens, but one wrong step can destroy what you've given 
a lifetime or it takes a lifetime to build. So guard your character. Protect your character. And lastly, I want to challenge us. The leaders we are and the leaders we follow must be people of strong 